chicken casserole, the perfect use of leftovers. This is what we're making today, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna take a stalk of celery and we're gonna cut off the bad ends and then I'm going to slice it in half lengthwise to get it into smaller pieces. And these bigger ends, I'm also going to slice those in half lengthwise just to get those parts in smaller pieces. And then we're gonna do a nice quick slice, like so. And now we're gonna do a couple of small carrots. Or you could do one large carrot, depending on what you have. Now after slicing the ends, go ahead and slice it lengthwise. And then do it again lengthwise, just so we can get same size carrot pieces as the celery. That way everything cooks evenly. Now I'm taking two bread, bread pans and I am coating them in butter starting on the bottom and doing all the way to the top of the walls of this bread pan. The reason I'm doing this is because half of the pan is going to be one serving. Now, here's my leftover rice with some meat in it because I had burritos. And I'm putting approximately two cups of rice in the bottom of each. And that should use up all of my cooked rice. Now, on top of my cooked rice, I'm going to do a quarter of an onion that's a dice small, and I'm just sprinkling those on, making sure everything is dispersed evenly throughout. And now I have a little bit of corn, and I'm doing the same thing with that. This is utilizing a lot of leftovers. Now here I have some cream of chicken soup, and I'm adding a pinch of pepper, a pinch of kosher salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some thyme, and some oregano. This makes seasoning the casserole a lot easier if it's all in the soup, AKA the sauce of the casserole. Just mix it well, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a layer into our casseroles of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about half of the mixture in each pan, just like so. And then I'm gonna spread it like icing on a cake. You don't wanna pull it and push it into the corners and into the sides of the dish and make it as flat as possible for your other layers. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna add some celery. Make sure you spread it out so it's evenly throughout and you're not just getting huge clumps of celery. And now the carrot. And this I decided to sprinkle by hand just so I wouldn't have to spread it with a spatula. And this worked much better. Now, I have some steamed broccoli here. You can also use blanched broccoli and just create a nice layer. Now, I have 16 ounces or one pound of shredded chicken. And it's cooked chicken, of course, cooked leftover chicken. And we're just going to spread this in an even layer on both till we use it all. We're almost to the top of these. Now here I have some mashed potato. And it's not very much, but I am going to do a thin layer on top of the chicken. And again, kind of spreading it like icing. It's a little difficult with the shredded chicken 
but I know you can do it. And you just want to cover the majority of it. It doesn't have to go all the way to the sides. And finally, I have some sliced cheddar cheese. And for me, this ended up using six slices from the block, two of which I broke in half, hamburger style and hot dog style. Just like that. And make sure you just try and get it as covered as possible. Also realize, though, that the cheese may harden if it's above the rim, so I try and keep it below the rim. Now, we're going to put these in a preheated oven at 375 for 35 minutes. And this is what you'll get. Make sure you let them rest for five minutes. And after the five minutes, go ahead and serve it. This will help it so that it kind of stays together a little bit better instead of being just a big soupy mess. And it's a little tough getting these sides. Like I said, the cheese likes to harden where there isn't butter on the sides. But look at this. Oh, beautiful. It looks so delicious. Make sure you get as much as you can. <laughs> it's so good. This is a great way to use up leftovers, and I used a lot of leftovers in this. And this is going to taste absolutely fantastic. The trick with the seasonings into the sauce makes it so much easier to season it. I highly recommend this. Enjoy! Enjoy!